I was first diagnosed when I was around 15 with depression. Um, I was, because of my depression, I was suicidal. Uh, I acted on it on a few, well, a fair few occasions by overdosing. Um, when I got diagnosed, um, I was put on antidepressants. And then shortly after that, I was admitted to Cornhill Hospital um, for treatment, uh, just to keep me safe, basically, because I kept attempting suicide. So they had to keep me in a safe environment till I got better. So. I've been at St Albans, yeah, around five months. St Albans has helped me get my independence back. Um, I've got more freedom than I've ever had, really. It's led me into doing voluntary work um, with different organisations. Um, it's kind of given me back a bit more control of my own life as well. So. I like living in St Albans because I've been able to develop my baking, um, bake lots of cakes and scones, and I do that quite a lot. Um, I like it because I've got my guinea pigs. Um, obviously couldn't have them in Cornhill. Um, so I've got them now, so that's another good thing. And the other good thing is being around people that care. My hopes for the future is to get my own place. Well, to get into some kind of work as well. And just to kind of move on, really. If I hadn't come to St Albans, <coughs> And if I was still in Cornell, I think I would have went downhill again. Because um, I found that Cornhill made you even more depressed and um, being in that environment. Um, but coming here, it's lifted me up a bit. It's a change, it's a different place. It's a fresh start. <laughs>